Welcome back to Noves and Friends. Miles here with an update on 67. If you didn't catch the last video, make sure to watch them later and subscribe to the channel. We have the interior all pulled out and measurements were taken to check the top of the firewall slash coil area for damage. It appears that most of the unrepaired damage from the 80s accident was on the very bottom where the firewall to subframe mount is attached. Years ago, my father acquired some decent original parts off of a donor car. These are not the exact year, but will work in the areas that we must replace, and most importantly, within our budget. This firewall subframe floor pan and tunnel section is off of a 283 V8 automatic four-door Nova that received heavy dealer or aftermarket heavy undercoating. This saved the floor pans from the high humidity rust that we see up here in Pennsylvania, but we have to remove this undercoating so we can install them and later paint the bottom of the car. We prefer to remove undercoating using an electronic heat gun, putty knife, and screwdrivers with rounded edges to prevent scratches in the metal. It was a couple hours of work, but was well worth it in the end. Now we are preparing to slice the firewall and floor pan in places that are easily welded, ground, filled for a lapless, beautiful welded connection. The plan is to use this memory factory punched slash drilled holes to align the replacement piece with the body. Then, we're going to use a few attack welds to hold it in place. To verify that it's within factory tolerances, we will install the subframe and front body panels. This will allow us to make some triangulation measurements and visually check our work. Okay, after some careful measuring and marking, we are ready for the next step, protecting the windows and other things that can be easily damaged by a welder or grinder. We choose to use shipping blankets covered with welding blankets. Whenever you are welding slash grinding, Always have someone on fire watch duty with water and two properly rated fire extinguishers. It is very easy to miss a fire when you are behind a welding helmet. Lastly, when you are done welding or need to take a break, pull your welding slash grinding protection and have someone continue fire watch. Take caution since inside Novas there can be many unknown flammable materials that rodents have improperly installed. Alright, before we start I'm going to show you what we covered up with these fiberglass blankets. Okay, so we have the doors covered up both sides with the fiberglass blankets. Got the inside of the windscreen covered up. Well, make sure we protect it because we do not want to have to replace it. So you can see, back here, we have one covering up the back section. These clips aren't holding it up very well, but will suffice. And the last place we have covered up is the heater box hole right here. Now is this system of covering things up perfect? No, but it is good enough to the fact that we can trust it to not throw sparks against the stuff that we want to protect. We also decided to splice the rear seam over the floor pan brace so it would be easier to refinish. To accomplish this, you should measure and carefully trim back the floor pan without damaging the floor pan brace. Beneath it, this will keep the rear, rear seam hidden. Then carefully remove the front brace of floor pan by either grinding out the top of the spot welds or drilling them out with a special bit. We choose the grinding method since we have a hard time finding the spot welds. Grind and peel one spot weld at a time, trying not to damage the brace is what we found as a best practice. As you can see here, we cut through the floor but we didn't make it all the way through to the brace. This is important so we do not damage the brace. Now we are going to grind out the spot welds as we talked about before. Now we've trimmed up the replacement piece some, but it's still overlapping and allowing us to see the factory holes for our alignment purposes. We have it in place now. We had to put a few small slices to allow the piece to fit on the outside of the firewall and also fit above the floor pan brace. We'll show you a trick to make this disappear before the final welding is complete. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Hit the notification bell to get updates on all future videos. Thanks for tuning in. See you on next cruise night.